Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new Let's Play, as selected by Patreon, Hercule Poirot, The First Cases. Uh, I've not played this before. I've played other puzzle games. <laughs> um, some Hercule Poirot ones. Um, one that I then found out wasn't, wasn't solvable with the version I had, which is always fun. Um, but apparently this is kind of similar to some of the later Sherlock Holmes with a kind of deduction space um, from, I think, some of the reviews I've seen um, on the um, uh, shop web shop site. But other than that, I've got no idea what we'll be doing. Let's find out. <laughs> Expecting items is essential in gathering evidence. I mean, yes. Use the left mouse to explore your surroundings and interact with items of interest. Okay, so is this kind of a... Uh... Okay. Oh, didn't get that hint. Recruitment drive sees largest and listing number to police force in years. So we are in Belgium, I assume. Uh, yeah, Brussels Police Depart Department. Congratulations, Monsieur Poirot. So we're in local pickpocket gang caught red-handed. Police sting operation sees jewel bandits apprehended. So is this kind of like our progress to become a private investigation person? Shootout in city shows police blunder and costs valuable life. Oh dear. Or is this us as like telling us what's going to be happening? I mean, that gives us a reason to leave the police, I suppose. Police force apologizes. Commanding officer states the young officer involved defied orders and acted with no thought of the consequences. Ooh, that might be Poirot. Uh, recently transferred in Brussels Police Force, Officer Poirot promises to be equitable and fair in his verdict when judging this year's all-important Garden of the Season award. Oh, yeah, so he's kind of been demoted quite significantly then. Well, he's been moved away from the city to maybe a quieter space. Goodness, officer, please come quickly. Bonjour, mademoiselle. How can I? Uh... Okay, the rural Belgians are English, apparently. It has become a madhouse. Madame has been shouting and cursing all morning. I've never seen her so angry. But what great luck to happen upon you! Please try to remain calm. Uh, first, may I ask your name? We don't have time for that. Please hurry. Okay. Oh, there's a window open. Prologue. The bracelet. Mademoiselle, now we are here. I must insist on your name before I can continue any further. I am Officer Hercule Poirot. I am Elizabeth, but it is the maid servant that we must consider. Forgive me, officer, but are you new to the area? I stand out so obviously. I mean no offense, only I have not seen you before. This is a small town. And you learn everyone's faces very quickly. Very observant of you, mademoiselle. We, oui, I was recently posted here from the city. And a good thing I'm here now. Let us get to the bottom of this madness you speak of. All right. Oh, talking to characters is essential when gathering evidence. Basic questions are flagged with, yeah, with the question mark. Use, use the left mouse on the question to pose it to Elizabeth. Tell me what has caused you to become so agitated. There has been a theft at the house. <gasps> Then I am exactly where I should be, n'est-ce pas? Uh, right. Oh, so I choose the topic. 
So I'm oh I, okay. So move with the mouse to choose. Okay, that looks like it's more of a draggy thing, but isn't. Uh, do you have a list of all the items that have been taken? It is only one of Mademoiselle Angeline's most valuable bracelets, taken from her room. Only. Then its safe return is of the utmost importance. Uh, any suspicion? Does the house have any suspicions? I assume, I assume the people in the house. Madame Van den Bosch, the lady of the house, believes Florette is behind it. But you doubt. Uh, you have an alternative suspect? Mademoiselle Angeline thinks that someone has broken in and taken it. This seems more plausible to me. Merci, Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Whoa, whoa. Okay, new mind map unlocked. Mademoiselle Elizabeth believes a burglary is behind the bracelet's disappearance. If that is the case, there will no doubt be a sign of intrusion in the grounds. Okay, so these are the things we can... Real case. If such beloved police must be worth a great deal. Not necessarily. There seems to be conflicting ideas of who's behind the missing bracelet. So we return to the scene. And I... Oh, I can move. Whoa, 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 it's time to find some evidence. Elizabeth mentioned intruders. Let's start with the gravel path. Use was sand to explore, try finding clues they might have left on the path itself. Okay. Okay, using... <laughs> right, so I can zoom in and out. Okay. Okay, make up your mind what you want me to do. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? Okay. Will this get rid of things? No, no, the, um... Tutorial is having a fit. So I can do that. Okay, I've kind of got him stuck. Um, oh, and <laughs> the cursor's, cursor's not doing too well either. Maybe I should just use the cursor. Okay, so I can't do anything there. Oh, hello. Muddy footprints. And they're not ours. At least not yet. Let's stamp all over them. That makes sense. While two cents lead away from the house, only one muddy set returns. Rather hastily, it seems. Uh, to press R to view your active objectives. Investigate the rounds for evidence of an intrusion. Muddy footprints. Or two sets lead away. Okay. So that doesn't have. So there's no links, apparently. Need to explore more of the garden to find. Okay. So I can't go through there. But if it's if they're muddy, that implies. Ah, of course, log patch. So they must have come through here then. This morning shower must have been heavier than I thought. An intruder stepping here would surely leave evidence elsewhere. Okay, we can make our first deduction. This is not the easiest way of doing things. Next, highlight the muddy footprints. Another success. Oh, I should have actually read what it said. I never doubted myself. Seems the muddy footprints are the result of earlier rain. I mean, Uh, okay, okay, so I should probably should have read... Okay, there was something else he said in between, but alright. Talk to Elizabeth. Okay, was that was that all I needed to do for that? That's rather... Okay. Of course, officer. How can I help? Uh, do you know who the footprints belong to? One set must be mine, leaving to find you. The other set must be Florette's. She was caught in the rain this morning. That explained the hurried, scuffled nature of the prince. Merci, mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. Uh, trying to explain the rest of the garden. Oh, so that was just like the things we had to discover. Oh, hello. Overgrown trellis. Huh. Trellis has been left untouched for quite some time. Uh, on the other hand, this is not quite so overgrown. That apparently is not relevant. Oh, I can do a thing. Oh, that's just because I've got more in. Okay, so inspect to get more. Overgrown trellis. Okay. Oh, so... Ah, okay. So that number is zero. So there's nothing else we can discover. 
Oh, hello. Front door. Let's have a look at the front door. I'm going to use the mouse because the mouse is going weird. No signs of tampering or a forced entry. Oh, dear. Bench. Ooh, oh, right. Hmm. Declaration of love has been carved into the bench. L loves E. So that someone loves Elizabeth. Judging by the condition of the ladder, I wouldn't trust it with my weight. Perhaps a braver man than I perched this elsewhere against the roof. Side door. Huh. It appears to be rusted shut, and if these cobwebs are anything to go by, it hasn't been unlocked in some time. Perhaps they entered another way. Right, so I think those are most of the ways against... Is there anything we can do? Right, side of the house. Side door. Ah. The wooden ladder... That's something to talk to Elizabeth about. If I attach the front door with the side door... What a revelation! Neither of the external doors have been damaged or shown any signs of an unwanted visitor. So no... F ah! That isn't necessarily true. Especially considering we have the thing. I was going to do the mouse. Um, especially considering we've got the ladder... Oh, hello. So, no, that's not an open window. It's an impossible climb to reach it unassisted. The ledge beneath it appears rather precarious. Fortunately, though, we have the ladder, don't we? So, let's see if that gives us a bit more insight. Yeah, lines up directly. Magnifique. Yes. Found no practical logical way for someone to have reached the window. Perhaps another means of entry was attempted. What? Some would say a lucky guess. I would say a moment of genius. So, the fact... Why was there a ladder then? So the ladder with the window is... Ah, the ladder was not used. Could not find any sign of an unlawful entry into the house. Will I find signs of an intrusion elsewhere in the grounds? I can't. I'm just really confused by how the wooden ladder... I mean, it's it might just be that... Yeah. Um, we've already done the footprints, but yeah, we need it to be, yeah, it's still kind of like, oh, is there another way in of the, the overgrown trellis we've already looked at. Ah. Untouched for some time. Is that what I'm, I need to do? No. Flower bed. Oh, hello. Oh. Such beautiful flowers. I'm glad to see no one carelessly damaged them. At least not yet. I'm sure we can manage it. Look at that. So, I mean, maybe it is just... It is the maid. Or maybe it's Elizabeth. I don't know why you keep telling me there's new things when they're in. Stop it. Distracting. Of course, officer. How can I help? Uh, there is a little romance in the house. Excuse me, officer? The carving on the bench... Forgive me, I was not suggesting anything untoward. Oh, of course not. Yes, <laughs> I suppose there must be. Would you know the identity of the mysterious L and E? Yes, Elizabeth. I'm afraid not. Perhaps they were old residents. A pair of star-crossed lovers, perhaps. Madame does not allow distracting staff relationships. Ah, okay. Love is not something that can be harnessed so easily. That is Madame's rule, and I wouldn't want to be the one that challenges her on it. Hmm. Merci, Mademoiselle. Your assistance has been invaluable. You lying person, you. Wait, that's not evidence? How is that not evidence of a thing? Right, so I've only got the one person. I'm really confused. I thought that would have led to more information. Right, you don't want to go in there, that's fine. Oh, quote on the plaque. Aha. Uh -huh. 
touching extract taken from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, expertly carved on a plaque. The measure done, I'll watch her place of stand, and touching hers make blessed my rude hand. Did my heart love till now forswear its sight, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. So that's after he's gone to the party. Romeo goes to the party to see, uh, I think, Rosaline or Rosalind. And then sees Juliet. It's like, nah, I've got a, got a new love, me. So where's that? That's over here. Okay, so that's what we've already seen. Oh, so that expands. That's the only thing that can expand. I can't go in there. Can't go back through there. I mean, if I look at new... This isn't going to give me new evidence, is it? Oh. Two sets lead away, only one remains hastily. Oh, so that was her and the other person, then she runs back. I can't see over here. What am I meant to do next? Really? How am I already stuck? This is like the tutorial. No, nothing, nothing new. Although I'm fairly confident she's lying about the bench carving, but I can't challenge her on it. So how do I progress the game? This, oh, I've already done the overgrown trellis. I've already looked at the flower bed. These plants have been chopped down. I can't see. That's not evidence. And I can't go inside. Okay, so all I need to do is inspect the garden for something else. And that will then give me some... Yeah, that, I haven't got any more links. 